In this video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux Purple on VMware Workstation Pro from scratch. For that, you need to download Kali Linux, the latest and updated ISO image from www.kali.org. Click on the download. In the download page, there is many flavor available such as installer images, virtual machine, cloud, mobile, container, live boot, WSL. However, we are looking for Kali Linux Purple. So just go down in the page and here you will find Kali Purple. In the Kali Purple section, there is Kali Purple 64 bit. So you have two options to download torrent or directly. Click on the direct link. Okay. And here is the file Kali Linux 2024, the latest and updated installer purple AMD 64 ISO. I already download, but this is the way to download and it is around uh, 4 GB. Let me cancel. So I already have next you need to follow these steps. So let's open VMware Workstation Pro. Click on file. Click new virtual machine. Choose the first option typical and click next. Choose the second option installer disk image file ISO browse and the file we have in the E section OS and here is the installer purple AMD 64 ISO. Choose that one and click next. Guest operating system choose Linux and the version make sure Debian 11 64 bit and click next. Here you can give them a name suppose I say Kali and let me give them a name purple and choose the location where you want to store this um, VM and click next. Here you can specify the disk capacity. So the minimum and recommended is th uh, 20. Let me for test purpose, uh, let me the, uh, specify 30 GB hard drive. Uh, make sure the first option to choose store virtual disk as a single file and click next. You can customize a hardware. Suppose if you want to increase the memory, suppose 8 GB processor, I want to make them 2. You want to enable virtualization, suppose. Network adapter, keep them as an 8 to get internet access. Sound card printer, we don't need, you can remove. And you can enable a 3D graphic, etc. if you want and click close. After that, choose finish. Now, Kali Purple, these are the uh, uh, specification click power on this virtual machine and from here you need to follow so I will choose the first option and hit enter graphic install okay so the first graphic install you can hit enter and till that time you can follow these steps so here is so now we are here let's go here choose the first option graphic install and then we need to choose the language a location and keyboard layout okay so let's go back yeah so select a language english and click continue and select your location so you can change the location in this case i will keep the default one united states and click continue uh, the keyboard layout i will choose the american english and continue Okay, so it will start the installation process. Next, it will ask you the host name for the system. Okay, and also the domain name. Next, it will ask you the username, the full name, the username and password for this user. So we will choose the username Ali and password ABC812345. And again, you need to re-enter the password to verify. And then the time zone we need to choose. And then the hard drive section will start. So yeah, the host name is Kali. Okay, domain we will keep the default continue. Okay, here the name is Ali. Okay, you can choose anything. Uh, username is also Ali. And password ABC812345. And you can choose here to show you and here is show password and clear so yeah the password is same and click continue uh, the clock you can choose the clock and cl click continue it's almost uh, the installation is similar like a standard kali linux okay there is no difference uh, 
and then the partition disk because we have only one hard drive which is 30 gb if you remember if you go here so this is 30 gb and we want to keep the kali linux and this one so i will choose guided use entire disk and click continue so this is the 30 gb you see it's 32 gb showing which i just show you and click continue all fine and well partition i want to keep everything otherwise you have an option to keep separate home partition and other stuff and click continue okay so they say finish the partition these are the detail which i a uh, select so click continue okay and here is write the changes to the disk yes make sure to choose yes whatever we say related to the partition of the hard drive so you need to choose yes and click continue okay so it will start the um, partition and then it will install the uh, base operating system okay so we choose this option after this a uh, desk to be partition so it was 30 gb and after that all file in one partition okay and then finish partition and write changes to the desk whatever we choose and then uh, write the changes to the desk you need to choose yes after this it will ask you to install which application and also the uh, desktop environment so by default desktop environment is xfce which is the light one there is two other also available genome and kde we will discuss this because this is the kali linux purple so this is for defensive so you will see there is um, identify protect detect response and recover so these things are changed in the standard kali linux so this thing is different than the other one keep in mind so uh, we will keep the default setting and then continue okay so let's go back yeah so here is desktop environment yes we want to keep the xfce which is the kali default one and identify protect detect response and recover these are the things so we want to keep and continue okay uh, after that it will ask you about the boot loader so we will choose the primary drive we have only one drive and we will select the drive which we have 30 gb a drive okay we will choose the second option okay and then it will finish the installation so let's see and after that we will click continue and it will restart and you need to type the same username and password which we uh, previously set so you need to type ali and password abc812345 to log in to kali linux purple so let's go back the next thing it will ask you the bootloader related stuff and then uh, it will restart and then you can log in however it will take some type uh, time to copy these file so you need to wait for a while okay so the next tip is it will ask you about the bootloader so install a bootloader to your primary drive yes and click continue and choose the second option this is our hard drive the partition and click continue okay and finally it will finishing the installation and it will ask you to restart the system and then you can log in with the same username and password so we need to wait for a while okay we choose this option and then uh, this is the final step to click continue it will restart and then we can log in to kali linux purple so just wait for a while so it will finish the installation and finally so it's almost same like a standard kali linux the installation is totally identical like a uh, standard kali linux yeah is done so click continue okay and it will restart reboot so let me hit enter to log in quickly however uh, most of the stuff is different yeah so let me log in ali and password a b c eight one two three four five and now you will see a purple kali linux look at now so it's kali purple okay and here you will see different uh, application you see identify protect detect response and recover and then we have almost the same a tool which is on this standard kali linux that's it so this was the way to install 
काली लिनक्स पर्पल